Hey, it's Patty from PS Paper Crafts. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to feature the Press Petals um, Designer Series paper. And you get um, 12 by 12 sheets of uh, different patterns and stuff, but you get four sheets like this. And what I'm going to feature today is the, the this sheet. <laughs> I cut it up and I'm going to make seven cards using all of these pieces. Um, and I'll have this one piece left over that I'll use on another card at another time, maybe with the Daisy Lane because it, uh, it's so cute. But I love the kind of the burlap background. It's very natural. What Stamping Up did was they um, took real flowers, pressed flowers, and they took pictures of it and made it into this paper. So these are, you get four of these, and then I've been using a lot of the other patterns, but let me just show you some of them. Um, so I use this a lot. I just love it. So that's what I have left. <laughs> um, and you get four sheets of everything. So it's really, they're really beautiful. And this is uh, the same color as Rococo Rose, so that's nice. And then the leaves. And then you have this. This would be good for labels or just background sheets. Um, and then this blue is just beautiful. I love it. Um, and then you have this kind of newspaper print on the back of that. And then there's a couple more. I've just really been using them. I love these. I used a lot of, of this pattern. And it has the script on the other side. So that's this. I think that might be everything. So um, this is my scraps of what I have left. And I will be making more cards. So come on back and, and see what else I make. Um, so anyway, I have everything prepped for these seven cards. Let me just get this out of the way. <laughs> um, I looked on the designer series paper label to see what colors to use. So there's Knight of Navy, um, Mary Merlot, Rococo Rose, Pear Pizzazz, um, Mossy Meadow. So, you know, I tried to stay in those families of, clothes, of colors, and that really makes it very easy. So I cut the strip off, and then I cut each of these pieces. And this is a full card front, so I cut it down a little bit. And I tried to take the same amount off so that I would have um, a, five and a, half, a five and a quarter by four so I could layer it on a card base. And sometimes I cut it even smaller. It's a little tight here, so, um, you know, you just kind of have to work with it and come up with what works for you. So let me get started. I'm going to do one card at a time, and I kind of have all the pieces together. So this is one piece, and again, I cut it down, and I have Rococo Rose, which picks up these flowers beautifully. And I'm going to make this a, to a wedding card. I won't be doing the insides today because I don't want to take all your time up. And um, I'm going to do the Here's to the Wonderful Couple, and I'm going to have it go this way. And I think you don't really need much more than that, to be honest. Um, I will be doing this. I'm going to do most of my stamping, I think, in Mossy Meadow. Because I think the, the green is pretty and it's nice and dark. You could do black or you could pick up any color you want. So this will be a real simple card. Um, I love that you can see right through these stamps. Makes it nice to line them up. So I'm just going to just put this right smack in the middle like it was made when the paper was made. Here's to a wonderful couple. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm going to just glue it on. You could add some ribbon if you wanted. I think I'll add some pearls to this. But I think it makes a nice card just as it is. You could put a little um, linen thread or something like that on it. Um, so I'm just going to put some of my liquid glue down and finish my card. Very easy. And again, you don't have to have this border. You could just slap it on a, a card base and, uh, and go with it. So I think I'll put a couple of pearls down um, here and there just to add, add a little bit extra something. So. And you could color these pearls with the stamp and blends if you wanted to. But I think the white pearls are nice. Um, I think I'll do two more. And hmm. okay. 
So I think that'll be a great wedding card. So we have one down. Six to go. All right. So I use the uh, Verdant, Verdant Garden. Um, and I'll put this in the inside. All the happiness you'll share together. So I think that's a nice set to have. So let me put this aside and move on to card number two. So this one is a smaller piece. So I have pear pizzazz and I have, I cut it down and I backed it up. I'll have all the dimensions on my blog. So I'm going to um, just adhere this. They'll all have the same back because it's one big sheet. So I know people do the one card wonders or whatever. One sheet wonders, I should say. So this is seven cards with one sheet, and then you have that little extra strip. I love the wood and how natural this is. Kind of rustic. I'm actually going to a wedding at a winery um, this month, so I may actually give that to the couple. Okay, so this one I think I'll do Mossy Meadow again. I like this color. I'll tell you, when I first got it, I didn't like it at all. But it seems to really go well with um, all the designer series papers they have. Okay, just a little note to say hello. And I'm trying to think, oh, so this came from a little lace. I thought that was great. So we're going to just put this on and put this over it end to end. Right? Pretty easy and very pretty. And this is very vanilla and pear pizzazz. Those are the colors I'm using. That is one of the colors, pear pizzazz, um, for this set. So let's get that down. I think the UPS just came by. My dog is barking. And let's get some dimensionals for this. I think I'll pop it up. Actually, I think I like it down flat. I think I'll leave it flat. Sometimes I just, you know, go back and forth <laughs> on on things. Sometimes I like a card just flat. Dimensionals are great, but for this one it looks like it's just a band wrapped around the bottom of it. Okay, and then on this one I'm going to put a couple of these in color um, faceted gems. So this color is Rococo Rose, which is the same color as the flower, so I think that's a perfect, perfect little thing. You could put green on here. So there you go, card number two. See how easy? I'll keep my Mossy Meadow handy because I'll probably be using it lots more. Okay, card number three. Let me just get that. That is this one. So I have uh, Mossy Meadow, Daffodil Delight, to pick up the yellow, and I'm going to layer this. And this I thought would be perfect on the inside, and this comes from, um, let me just get it, the Smooth Sailing. It's this die. So, you know, look at your dies. You could do a circle or an oval, stitched oval, whatever, whatever you want. Um, you don't have to stick with what I, I just kind of went through my dies and tried to see what would fit in here nicely. So this one I'm going to make as a birthday card. And I have birthday cheers to, to you all year. You'll see it when I stamp it. <laughs> um, let me make sure, I don't know what color it's stamped with. Oh, it's in blue. You know what, I think I was going to use this on a different one. I am. So let me hold off on that. Oh, I know. I was going to do thanks on this one. See, I kind of planned them out so that, you know, you wouldn't be going crazy trying to figure out what I'm doing here. So I have things lined up together. So we'll do thanks. Okay. And then we'll layer these down. And... I think I was going to put some ribbon on this. Let me see. Was I going to put ribbon on this? What did I have in my head? 
You'll have to wait and see. But this is almost like the kind of the memories and more where you just kind of slap things together. But you do have to have your little creative mind as to uh, what you want to put together. But it does make it easier when you know what colors and you have those colors on hand. That just makes it a whole lot easier. I think this is gorgeous. And you could stamp right in the middle of this like we did on that other card. You don't have to put a label on it. Okay. And I think I will pop this up with dimensionals. So I'll just put four on it. Hoping it's not getting too dark. I'm kind of doing this later than I usually do. And um, looks like it's going to rain out actually. So I'm hoping you can see this nice and light. And let's put this the right way. That would be helpful. Come on. Oh, don't drop it. Okay. Now that would be nice with some pearls. Um, let me see. Maybe I'll put some of these green, what are these called? Uh, Noble Peacock. I'll put some of the green down. I'll put one in the middle and one on each side. I'm kind of winging it here. And one more. I think I smudged the green a little bit there, but we're going with it. And on this one, I think I will put some of this very or whisper white linen thread. Let's see how this will look. And if we don't like it, we take it off. So let's see. I kind of prepared it, but I'm also kind of, uh, I don't know if I like that. I think I'm just going to leave it. Let's leave it. Okay, so card number three. Again, these are just very simple cards. So here's the blue. Um, this is um, Night of Navy, Daffodil Delight. And then I didn't want to cover up all of this blue over here. So what I did was I punched this sentiment out. I used the um, birthday cheer to you all year. And where did I get that from? I have to figure that out. I have all kinds of stamp sets. Here it is. Parcels and petals. So I got that from there. And um, I just didn't want to cover that. So what I did was I used this punch, punched it out, stamped on it with Knight of Navy, and cut it so that it goes right up against the edge. So it, it does look like a label, but it's not covering the blue. So this one I'm going to put some ribbon on, though. So what I'm going to do is first adhere my designer series paper to my Daffodil Delight layer. And again, I cut these layers down so that I could um, fit them over another layer. So you just have to be careful. I went right up to the edge here and cut evenly so you're kind of centered. Now before I put this down, I'm gonna put some of this polka dot um, ribbon down. It is called Whisper White uh, polka dot tool ribbon. There you go. So I'm going to put this around it and maybe tie a bow. This was a piece I just had left over, so let me just cut it. And I'm actually going to use scotch tape on this. So 
sometimes it's just easier. You can put uh, adhesive down here, but sometimes it's just easier to use scotch tape. So let me see where I want it. So that's probably good. I feel like this piece is a little bit wobbly. I wonder if I, um, I'm going to cut a new piece. I feel like it's a little bit uneven or something, maybe because it's been sitting around as a leftover. So let's just cut a brand new piece. We want it to be very pretty. So I'm going to just take a piece of scotch tape, fold this over, put the tape down on one side, and make sure I have it where I want it on this side. And I may tie a bow or I may just leave it. We'll see. How will we do it? Have to wait and see. Okay. So let's get these out of the way. And let me just. I guess this can go all the way over. I think that looks better all the way over. And let me see if we want to feed this through. It would be hard to tie a bow, but I may just tie a, um, a knot. See how we like it. I just want to see where I want to place it. And then we can give it a nice little diagonal edge just to dress it up a little bit. Yeah, I think that's nice. It almost looks like it's a, a ribbon that's tied around the, the bouquet of flowers. So let's put this down with our liquid glue or whatever adhesive. I use the liquid glue, but you can use whatever you like. Make sure it's opening the right way. And I love the pop of yellow and then the blue in the background. I think it's really pretty. Okay, and then do we want to pop this up? I'm thinking we do. So let's get our dimensionals and put some on. We'll put three on this. See how easy this is? I mean, <laughs> the paper practically makes the card for you. It's really amazing. It's right up my alley, this, this look, to be honest. I just love, I love flowers, and it's kind of a rustic look. So that just makes me happy. Okay, so I think that's good. I don't think we need anything else on this. If you wanted to put some pearls or something, you could, but I'm happy with it. So we have four cards, three to go. Um, where are they? <laughs> I have so much stuff around here. This is the next one. And isn't this just gorgeous? So this is Mary Merlot. And I love the script in the background. And then we're going to just put this up here. And we're going to put some ribbon down the side. So this is going to say thanks, and that is the green. I want to make sure I'm using the right colors. So we'll use the um, Mossy Meadow ink, and we'll just stamp it right on this label, and I'll tell you in a minute where I got this label from. Is that going to fit? No. I know what I was going to do. Thank you. Yes. And that's okay. So I'm confused. <laughs> this one I was doing in Mary Merlot. I was kind of trying to practice before, not practice, but kind of get my feel for what fit on what labels. And I just want to put it down and see. I like to kind of line it up on the grid paper to see where to where to look at the bottom, if that makes sense. I don't have my label on this yet. Perfect. Okay, so let me tell you where I got the label and the thank you. So the label came from 
the perfect parcel and that's that label and then the thank you came from the parcels of petals okay so before we put this down I'm going to try to use this uh, very vanilla uh, lace ribbon what is it called scalloped lace trim and I'm just going to cut a piece I'm not going to tie a bow or anything on this I just want to wrap it around the edge so that it's facing in right at the edge so we're going to use our scotch tape again hope I didn't get any ink on that good <laughs> let me put that away so let's get this out of the way and I think I might put a glue dot in the middle of it just to hold it down or maybe I'll put a piece of tear and tape that's what I'll do just a couple of pieces along the edge just to hold it so it doesn't kind of bubble up where are my little scissors I don't want to use my ribbon scissors I try to keep my big scissors for ribbon where I don't get anything sticky or anything bad on them so I'm going to put this here right on the edge I'm just going to put a couple of them down and then I will adhere it in the back. I'll put three. I just want it to stay in place. But I think this is so pretty, the, the color of the flowers. And then we'll just pick this up. Hopefully I'm picking up the right part of it. And pick this one up. So the tear tape is double-sided tape. So when you take it off the roll, it sticks down, and then you have to lift up the release paper. So let's see if we can get this to lay down right on the edge. Like that. Okay. And then in the back, we're going to just, let's see, put it down. You could put tear tape down. I'm going to just put the scotch tape down again, make it easy. And then we'll put down one on this end. Okay. I think that just gives it a little extra look on the side. So let's get this down with our liquid glue. Okay. Doesn't it just pop off the paper so beautifully? And again, you could add pearls or rhinestones to any of these cards to put little rhinestones in there if you wanted to. I'm going to leave them a little bit on the bare side for now. Um, looking for my dimensionals. So I'm going to pop this guy up. I think two dimensionals will be fine for this one. And we'll just put this right here. Thank you. Okay, so we've got five cards done. The last two are going to be small and they're going to be very similar to each other. So the, the last couple were these little tiny, um, I think they're three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I'm just going to back them, each one similar. So this is backed with very vanilla and then on a mossy green. So it's a four by four. So this piece is actually eight by four. And then you score it at four, and that gives you the um, the four by four card. So let's put this together. And then on this one, I think I'm going to add a little bit of um, the mossy meadow twine. So we'll just put this right in the center. And then 
this in the center. And I was trying to figure out what shape to put in the middle of this because it's a little bit weird. Um, it's almost like it should go this way. And I guess you could do it as a diamond, but that wasn't really appealing to me. So I just went with the stitched oval. And I'm just going to go right over here. So I'm going to make one of them say hello. Make it. <laughs> I'm going to have one of them, stamp one of them with hello. And this will be Mossy Meadow. And then I think the other one is very similar, and I'm going to make that as a thank you. So we'll say hello. And put this away. And I'm just going to let that dry a minute. I think the other one before got a little, I smudged it with the, my finger. So this one we're going to say thanks. And we're going to do this. I want to do this in Mary Merlot. So I don't have my ink cleaner. So I'm just going to stamp it until the ink is no longer on it. Cleaning it a different way. Okay. So we'll do a thanks. Make sure that looks good. Oh, it still has a little green on it. That looks good. I could see in the top it just wasn't a crisp, clear Mary Merlot color. Perfect. All right, let's put this away. And we'll put this one together. So we'll just put the this on top of the white, or the very vanilla. Just center that. And then you have to see how you want your wood grain to go. Up and down or side to side. I'm going to go with up and down. And just put this right in the center of it. I like the very vanilla. It just um, makes it pop a little bit off the, the dark color. So I think that's really pretty. And... Let's do our sentiments. So let's pop them up with dimensionals. Let me do this one first. And I'll put three on here. <clears throat> so these are the last two cards, but isn't it amazing how quick you can put these really I think really beautiful cords together and let's do this one and I think I will put some of that mossy meadow linen so that's pretty on this one. So the Mossy Meadow Linen Thread comes with the Morning Magnolia. There's a combo pack. So you get um, this uh, linen with the white trim and then you get the Mossy Meadow. So I'm going to, I do this a lot. You've probably seen me do it before. I'm going to make a triple, triple bow. So I'm going to just take a piece of the linen thread and get like three strands. So I'm just going to cut cut the loop, cut the bottom, cut the loop. And I cut an extra piece. So I like to, when I'm using this, to make two or three strands just to um, give it a little bit more, I guess, um, weight to it, maybe. I don't like how that came out. Let's try this again. I'm not the best bow maker. Sorry, my phone just went on a low battery mode. So I had a little interruption there. So here we go. This is why I use my other scissors. 
There we go. So I'm just going to put this right down there with a glue dot. I think that's pretty. And then I'm wondering what I'm going to do with the other one. I might do the same thing, but with um, the regular uh, linen, natural linen thread. Let me see. I can move it down a little bit. I think that's pretty. Should I do that on here? Maybe I'll put, um, oh, <laughs> I'm just having a good time here. Um, maybe I'll just put some of these down on it. Why don't we do that instead? I'll put one on here. Again, these are the pretty peacock. I think that's pretty. Okay, so we made all of our cards. So one, get rid of this mess here. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Pretty easy, um, pretty quick, and you could really fancy them up more if you wanted to, but I think this is a great, um, sheet of paper to really make some beautiful cards. So thanks for stopping by and I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye.